Dean with I Buy Cool Stuff. So I bought a group of five estate guns the other day, and I've been going through them, and uh, I've got one more to clean up a little bit, and I'll just show you a little bit about it, and we'll talk through what I use to clean up old rusty guns that need some loving. So this is the Remington Mohawk 600. Did not have a scope on it. I put a Leopold scope on it. Nice little Leopold 3x9. That I'm keeping long term. The others I'll be offering to trade with my buddies. I picked up a Savage 99 in 300 Savage. And this gun had lots of issues. So, uh, there was a lot of rust on the barrel. And I cleaned most of it up. It was very, very rusted on the end of the barrel. It was missing the screws in the receiver here. And it had a peep sight on it, and the guy had carved the stock all up back here. Well, I took the peep sight off. The peep sight is a marbles. So the peep sight, most people won't pay extra for the peep sight, so it doesn't make the gun worth anymore. So I'll sell the peep sight on eBay. Um... I'm going to show you something I recommend everybody get. This is, I got this, I believe, from Cheaper Than Dirt, but you can find it. This is awesome because what it has in it that I use the most of, I bought two or three of them, sold them after I use them, but they comes with all of the different, the three different size plug screws that we use in firearms most often. And the whole box, I think, is 15 bucks or something. And there's like eight or ten of each of them plug screws. And you can't order just them plug screws for that. So this is the gun I'm going to work on next. So this is a Winchester Model 63. Um, it's missing three out of the four plug screws. It did not have a, a scope on it at all. It was missing the elevator for the uh, rear sight here. Um, I had an elevator, so now it's not missing the elevator. The barrel's got some rust on it. I'll clean that up a little bit. Uh, the butt plate has got some rust on it. We'll clean that up a little bit. So, we'll clean her up. We'll get her ready. And uh, we'll see you folks in a little bit. Some other things I like to use. I use a lot of steel wool. This is 4 old fine. And this is like aught. So you can see the difference in them. Now the 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 four O steel wool won't har, harm most good blued finishes, and sometimes I have to use the aught to get the coarse rust off. So that's two things that I use. I use some brasso. You might want to pick that. This I don't know if they still make it. I'm going to have to order me some more. This one's getting about empty. Um. This is perma blue, which is is not true bluing. It puts a copper coat on and then turns it bl black. But if you've got rust on a barrel and you need to clean it off, you have to protect the barrel anyhow. And it's not trying to pull something on anybody. If somebody can't tell it's had perma blue on it, then they don't know much about guns. But if if you've got a rusted gun, you've got to get the rust off, or it's just going to rust worse. So this is the best I found, and it just takes a little dab of that. On aluminum guns, I don't know if Birchwood Casey makes this anymore, but it's called Aluma Black, and the same with uh, this is the same as with uh, aluminum receiver guns. And one of the guns I cleaned up yesterday was a, an aluminum receiver uh, Mossberg 500 410, and I needed the uh, aluminum black to touch up some spots that that were worn down on that. Now I'm not sure if this is the same as what they use to blacken aluminum, or if this is the same principle as the bluing, that it copper plates it and then turns the copper black. 
So I'm not certain on that. Good little batch of screwdrivers uh, with a handle. And uh, this, I buy this every time I see it. You can find this. You can go to the grocery store or hardware and get this right now. But it's expensive. This stuff is six, eight bucks a bottle now. But I find it lots of times at garage sales and estate sales for 50 cents and a dollar. And I buy every bottle I can. So, all right. We're going to start cleaning this uh, Winchester 63 up here. And we'll come back and see if it looks any better. So, we've cleaned her up. She looks nice now compared to how she did look. <sighs> Got all the plug screws back in it where plug screws needed to be. All the way down. Both sides. You can still see the freckles on it. You'll, you'll never get rid of them. I was not the, the person that owned these and let them become messed up in my care. <sighs> but it looks good now. Got a nice piece of wood on it. So these are them plug screws. I had to get them all out. I keep all... I've got lots and lots of parts. I've got a whole video on parts. So, like I said, that's the Savage 99 in 300 Savage. Going to keep that. I've got a friend uh, is already interested in the Winchester 63. So I got to send him some pictures now that I got it cleaned up. And uh, we'll see what he thinks. Oh, still got my specs on. Always need eyes. So, like I said, get them out there, fix them, get them looking good. Buy cool stuff, because if you don't buy it, I'm going to buy it. And God bless you, and God bless America.